Vectornator Pro, a powerful vector graphics app for iPad. Vectornator Pro is an iOS vector graphics app which puts it in the same vein as something like Adobe Illustrator. And speaking of Illustrator, with Vectornator Pro's Creative Cloud integration, you can seamlessly hop from Illustrator CC to Vectornator Pro and vice versa. Vectornator Pro, however, is completely free. And free in this case doesn't mean skimping out on features or performance. No, this app features a workflow that allows you to get serious work done and desktop class performance that taps into the power of the iPad Pro. For example, there's no lag when moving around the canvas and Zoom is super smooth even with tons of vector graphics on screen. Yet at the same time, Vectornator Pro retains a very intuitive usability and high user friendliness. Tools and settings are just a tap away and the app even offers a library of prefabricated standard design elements for iOS and Android. Indeed, it's easy to use but very powerful at the same time. Handy iPad features like drag and drop are supported and for you iPad Pro and 6th gen iPad users, Apple Pencil support is here as well. Now that said, one of my favorite features is support for keyboard shortcuts and iPad Pro smart keyboard users will particularly appreciate how easy it is to integrate shortcuts into your workflow and get things done faster. So what are some of the things that you might expect from Vectornator Pro? Well, number one, you get a rock solid vector tool set. You also get color profiles like CMYK. There's custom fonts, live blend modes, mask support, and alignment tools built right in. Because of its creative cloud integration, Vectornator Pro gives you the power to start or pick up projects while on the go with your iPad. So ladies and gentlemen, head over to the App Store right now and see for yourself why Vectornator Pro, a free app, comes with a 4.7 star average rating. And guess what? There's also a feature complete iPhone 10 optimized iPhone version. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.